hey my loves welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we've got another gorgeous unit to install for you guys and this unit is from west kiss hair and this unit is pre-plucked pre-bleached and super super easy to install look at that density look at the fluffy curls like i'm absolutely in awe with this unit so yeah make sure to keep on watching to see how i installed and styled this unit jumping straight into this video so i'm just showing you the packaging that the unit comes in you get a few bits and bobs as well which is always handy and i love getting free stuff i mean who doesn't so you get a silk bag as well which you can place your wig in after you take it off and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and use this black castor oil edge control to just brush back my baby hairs and prep my head for install so i'm just using my wig cap and making sure it is sitting securely and then go in with my easy skin protector this just helps protect my skin and also helps the adhesive adhere much better now look at that hairline like can you see this look at how well this looks it looks absolutely amazing and i'm here for it i'm here for units that are already plucked so inside the unit you get a 13 by 4 which i'm showing you the space and you get two combs on the side and one at the bottom and your regular elastic straps at the back as well and you also get an adjustable elastic band so this is a full 13 by 4 which i'm here for and i'm just showing you the goodness of this unit like it looks so delicious and this i believe is the invisible lace i'll make sure to leave the specs on the screen and also make sure to check down below in the description box so i did go ahead to add some lace tint onto the lace just to make sure it better matches my complexion and then we're gonna go in and try the unit look at how well that blended in and i'm still in awe with this plucking guys you don't understand like it looks so so good so i'm gonna go ahead to cut off the um excess lace around the ear as you want the wig to sit perfectly on your head so you need to do this so i made sure to do that for both sides by the way and i'm using my cuticle scissors as i feel like this gives me um a better control and yeah this is basically how it's looking i made sure I made sure to section out the lace as I love installing my units in sections and I always start off with the crown and I went in with my holding gel from Eben and I'm using like an applicator to just help spread out the product and then go in with the lace bond spray as well from Eben apply that generously onto the crown and then dis distribute that nicely and evenly and then go in with my blow dryer and my metal metal comb and i literally just press down the lace and that's pretty much how i do the first step of um installing and melting that lace so i do that for all over the hairline as you can see so i start off with the gel first and go in with my applicator to just spread that out and then on top of that i go in with the lace bond spray and when I tell you, when you use those two products, baby, your wig is not going to move. Like, I've, yeah, it's just such, it's got such a good hold and I absolutely love it. And I use my Dyson Airwrap to just um, blow dry that section for probably for like 10 seconds and then go in with my metal comb and press down the lace. That's pretty much it how i get my lace to stick down and then once i've pretty much um stuck down the lace all over my perimeter or all over the perimeter of my head should i say i go in with the elastic band provided by the company and i leave that on for about 10 minutes and then proceed to cut excess lace and i'm using an eyebrow razor for 
cutting and then I go in with the melting spray and I'm using the even melting spray and I'm using the edge of my rat tail comb and as you can see I'm basically just applying the product on the edge of my lace so the, the bits that are basically sticking out that's not fully um, melted and look at that guys like look at that look at how melted that looks so I left the band on again for another five minutes and this is basically what it's supposed to give like oh by the way i did add a bit of foundation as well because i did see a bit of demarcation and i wanted it gone and look at that absolutely flawless so i go in with some of the um black root spray or brown root spray should i say as the wig was slightly over bleached and then went in with my powder to just accentuate the parting and oh guys look at this still can't get over it so with curly hair i always feel like i need to do baby hairs you don't have to because look at that lace like look at the blend you don't really have to but i still went ahead and did some baby hairs and i loved how it turned out like i don't know if you would classify these as um adult hairs or baby hairs but i thought it was cute so i'm using my mini straighteners and then go in with some bed head spray together with my baby hair brush and literally just swooping away I've noticed when it comes to baby hairs like i've got like different moods for them if that makes sense sometimes i feel like i don't want to do any baby hairs at all and there's certain units that does not need baby hairs i can't lie but there are certain ones you really need baby hairs and for this one to be honest you don't because i mean like i said the lace is just even it is given the lace was just absolutely amazing it melted so well and the hairline just looks scrumptious and delicious everything oh god and yeah definitely here for that by the way but yeah like sometimes i don't like them sometimes i do let me know what do you guys prefer you know units with baby hairs or not because sometimes i just yeah i go with my mood i would say so i'm basically just sweeping and and now i'm gonna go in to define these curls and i'm using my cream of nature mousse and my mayel a curling smoothie when i tell you that smells amazing literally smells so so good so i use my spritz bottle which only has water and i go in and drench my hair a little bit and then go in with some mousse to define and i'm using my hands to def um, basically just distribute that all over the hair and then i go in with the mile later on apply that on and then use my tangle tweezer brush to basically just define the curls and that's pretty much how i defined the curls and when i tell you they came out pretty cool i really really loved how it turned out so let me talk you guys through the specs real quick so this unit is from whiskey's hair as i mentioned this is their 24 inch um 200 density curly unit this is also 13 by 4 hd lace frontal wig and guys when i tell you it comes pre-plucked and pre-bleached i mean i didn't really need to do much to this apart from installing it and basically just styling it and that's pretty much all i had to do definitely beginner friendly like if you're one of the girlies that can't pluck nor bleach or you're terrified of doing either of those you need this wig and it's curly and beautiful and the curls are amazing so yeah 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 it is eating it is giving definitely here for it and yeah so i don't think i have any cons at all for this unit i did not experience any shedding at all um as of yet and also the hair is really really soft and yeah i really love I love Wesky's hair. Like I've worked with them several times and the wigs always, always be given and it just gives quality and I mean it's just giving, I can't lie. So I'm gonna go ahead to do 
the other side i'll basically be defining the other side um with the same products and the same steps and yeah this is how the unit is looking when it's totally drenched and wet look at the curls guys absolutely gorgeous it is so so pretty i'm not sure what texture this is um because it just says curly hair so i'm not sure but it looks really really beautiful so this is the final look this is the unit basically dried look at how beautiful let me just zoom you guys in look at that amount guys like you can't tell me this is not my hair it looks absolutely gorgeous so that's pretty much it for me today i'll make sure to leave all the specs and details down below in the description box so make sure to check it out and thanks to Wesky's hair for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for clicking on and hanging out with me today if you did find this video helpful please do not forget to give it a thumbs up also do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell just so you're notified whenever i make an upload and that is all from me today and i'll catch you in my next one bye